leadership, the wild card for your business success. I'm Lonnie Shambi, and with my partner, Stan Simpkins, we're here to talk a three-minute snippet on our Top of Mind Awareness series. Today's topic is about leadership. Stan, what do you think about that? Well, the thing I see is, you know, a lot of companies don't realize they have great leadership, but they're not maximizing the opportunity to capitalize on it. Well, it's, uh, it's as a it's, turnaround guy, Lonnie, how'd you do it? Well, the thing is, this it's really getting the getting the team behind the vision of the leader. That's the leader's role is to create a vision that the team can get behind and then lead. That's it. Yeah. Plain and simple. You know, many of our audience has heard of Dr. John C. Maxwell, you know, great writer, great coach on leadership. And he talks about that, you know, that that whole, you know, that you can make mistakes as a leader. And if they're still following you, you know you're doing a good job because they're and they will forgive you for those things. Exactly. And and that's the that's this that's the sign of a good leader. Always look behind yeah. you who's following. Right. If they're following, you got to be doing something right. And that's the that's the difference between being a leader and just being a manager. Well, you know, that's a great, Lonnie, as I think about it, you know, we said we're going to give them practical tips. When leaders undervalue their leadership, which is better than they think, let's say, they oftentimes tend to be more conserved in taking risks. Yes. And that's a negative. They're holding themselves back because if they take the risk and they're making a mistake, all right, they'll learn from that but at least they can count on the team following them continually. That's And that's the whole thing. Leaders have to inspire that team. Leaders have to understand what their team's capabilities are and be able to capitalize on those capabilities. That's what a leader yeah. does. So Lonnie, maybe uh, again, uh, we always wish we had 30 minutes to do these things. When you get three, maybe wrap it up and give us a uh, top of mind tips that they can take home with them. Sure. The difference between a manager and a leader is a manager, if he was a coach, he would win the games that he's supposed to win. If he's a leader, he will win the games he's not supposed to win against better teams, etc. That's the difference. For Stan Simpkins, I'm Lonnie Shambi. Thanks for being with us. Take a look at our website, www.sbvirtualroundtables.com. And we'll see you next time.